Hello everybody, it's Demelza, Enrichment Coordinator at Niabi Zoo, and I'm here with another Enrichment Matters segment. So today I want to talk about safety. Safety is a top priority when it comes to enrichment. We want to do our very best to make sure that everything we give to our animals is as safe as it can potentially be. So some of the things we need to consider are, is it size appropriate for the animal? Are there areas that an animal could get trapped in? If there are holes in the object, are the holes of the appropriate size? How is the object hung? What is it hung with? And is it hung high enough? Could an animal get an appendage or perhaps a claw or a horn trapped in some way? So there are many, many different things and those are just a few of the items that we need to consider when we talk about safety. So you might think that when we make our special projects items that we don't have to consider much in safety because it's basically paper and cardboard. Well, that's not true. We actually do have some safety considerations to take into account. So for example, we're not allowed to use any kind of tape, so duct tape, sellotape, packing tape and so on. That could get stuck on an animal's fur or it could get ingested and cause an impaction, so no tape at all. We don't use paper clips, staples, we do not use string, cord, ribbon, any of that kind of thing. So basically it can be very challenging to come up with items because our primary thing that we use is actually non-toxic glue sticks and non-toxic glues and also non-toxic marker pens and if we paint an item it has to be a non-toxic tempera paint. So even what might appear to be a fairly simple object takes thought to make sure that we have done everything we can to ensure it's non-toxic and safe. Now when it comes to building our permanent items we also have considerations to take into account, as I mentioned, things like the size of the holes, how it's hung, what it's hung by, and so on and so forth. We need to look out for sharp corners. Uh, we also tend to try and use steel cable to hang our items with, and so on. So there are a lot of safety considerations. And any time a new item is given to our, an animal, our keepers actually supervise the first few goes so that they can monitor and see that an animal is safe, how that animal is reacting to the item, and if there are any issues we need to be aware of. So as Jess had alluded to in, in her segment on enrichment, we did have to readjust and rethink an item that we made for the cats, and that was the rope block. So the first time the rope block was given to the cats, it was fairly small, and uh, we did go back and redesign the piece. We made it longer, but we also added extra hardware. And as you can see in the videos here, in that first segment, Cleo, our African leopard, really had a very strong reaction to it. She was, shall we say, obsessed with the item. And so that was one of the reasons that we went back and redesigned and rethought how we wanted that item to be so that we could make it as safe as possible before we gave it back to her. Now the second series of videos is when she had the item outside and she still is showing a very strong level of interest. And this actually was great for activity for her. You can see how much she's really interested in that item and sort of attacks it as it were. So it was an item though that we had to really give careful consideration and readjust how we had done it. Now sometimes we give items out and the animals are able to um, fox us, shall we say, in, in proving us wrong in, in some of our summaries. So we gave an item, this item that is shown here, was given to our goats. We had thought that the goats would be fine with it, but as you can see, one of the goats got a little bit uh, rambunctious, so, shall we say, and it ended up in pieces. Now, there was no harm done, but we also had to readjust and consequently, any time it would have something like that, it would have to be a thicker, stronger item. And even with uh, some of our stronger animals, when we use bolts and so on and so forth, they don't always stand up to some of these very strong animals. And these uh, two items that are here was actually something that Taj, our male Bactrian camel, again, uh, was a little uh, strong for this item. So we had to readjust and rethink. 
So basically, safety is something that we have to look at every day. Our keepers have to be aware of the items that are going in and out, even items that they've had for some time. They need to check them over and make sure that, for example, there's no fraying, there's no new cracks, or if there are cracks that they're not too big, anything like that. If there are any, any concerns at all, we withdraw the item. We might uh, remake the item, discard it if we feel that it's not safe enough. So safety, as I said, is a primary concern, something we really need to be considered of here when it comes to enrichment, whether it be a paper or object, all the way on up through to the puzzle feeders that we make. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with another Enrichment Matters segment.